Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today it's just gonna be something super, super simple. I'm just getting ready to go out um, and run errands and do my normal life, so I wanted to just film getting ready, um, and I wanted to feature a specific men's makeup brand, being that it is Men's Makeup May, although that is to say that being a man, you can wear whatever brand of makeup you want, but it is nice to know that there are men's specific brands. Today I'm featuring a brand that I have definitely talked about in the past before, you've seen in videos prior, and that is Menagee, and I am using one of their new products. This is the Power Hydrator Plus. It is a tinted moisturizer with sunscreen in it, so that's exciting. Um, before, they really just had a powder base and concealer and bronzers, but they didn't really have like a liquid base, which is totally exciting because I'm more of a liquid all over kind of person, not necessarily so much with the powder. So that tinted moisturizer, the Power Hydrator Plus, is what I'm going to start out with today. I have the shade Light, which I believe is the light shade that they do. Um, I want to say they probably do three or four a light, medium, and a dark. I'm not 100% on that, but I will leave everything in the description box below for you. The texture is on the thicker side, but I actually did wear this yesterday, and I felt that it really melted into the skin and gave very, very minimal lightweight coverage. So I start by dotting and then just blending in with my fingertips. And you can see this does almost give a little bit of like a glowy sheen to the skin. And I think that's just down to the sunscreen in it, which is totally fine with me. But if you prefer more of a matte finish, you'll definitely want to go over top with the powder. Although this is a tint of moisturizer, I am going to use just a little bit on a brush just to see if I can build up a little bit um, of extra coverage. I don't think I'm going to get too much being that it is a very lightweight tinted formula, but I think the brush does actually add a little bit. So that is the tinted moisturizer all over my face. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to move on to the concealer. This is actually one of my favorites from the brand. This is the Menagee Camo. And again, I use the shade Light, which is the lightest shade. And I really like it because it's very simple. It's a stick formula, so it comes up in a tube like this. Um, and it's very lightweight, but does provide good coverage, blends beautifully and seamlessly into the skin. I use this under my eye and around my nose and on any areas of redness or blemishes on the skin. I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup with a little bit of a different product. This is the Lancome Translucence Powder in the shade 200. Just to take off any excess shine and make sure that the products stay in place all day. So then lastly from Menagee, I have two of their bronzers, one in the original shade Bronze and the other in the new shade Sunless Tan. One obviously is a little bit deeper. Um, I'm going to start here and then if I want a little bit extra color, I think I'm going to move on to the darker one. I've tried this one and it did pretty well for me yesterday, but why well, still try both? And then they do have the Menagee Kabuki brush, which for me just applies a little bit too much product, especially with the bronzer. So I'm actually going to skip that and move on with just my regular big fluffy brush that I've been using for bronzer every day. So grabbing a little bit of powder on my brush, and I'm just going to sweep this on the higher points of my face just to kind of almost make the skin look more natural. Sometimes when you use coverage, it can just make the skin look a little bit flat, which is sort of the idea. But by adding a little bit of bronze color back in. Um, first of all, it's healthier than actually getting a real tan for your skin. Um, and it just makes it look like you have less makeup on in a way. And that bronze definitely provided enough color for me for my fair skin for kind of an everyday look. But since I have the darker one, I'm just going to apply a little bit just to kind of amp up the bronzy color um, and just so you can see it in action. This one is definitely suited more towards a medium to deep skin tone. Um, but if you're very fair and you like a lot of color, go ahead. Base done, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows a little bit with my Lancome Sourceal Definie, which is my regular uh, eyebrow pencil of choice. This is what I use pretty much every day, and I use the shade Medium Ash. Just going to fill in any little gaps, keep it very minimal. And then just a little bit of something nude on the lips. This is Soho Nude from Laura Geller. And that is it. This is pretty much how I wear my makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. I just kind of switch the products up here and there. Um, but I'm very simple when it comes to my everyday look. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Every product that I use today is going to be linked in the description box below for you so that you can make sure to check those out. And then leave any comments that you have below that. Um, my socials are linked in the description box as well. I'm at John John Talks on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, let me scoot over so that you can click on this little link right here to be subscribed. 
subscribed, and then check out my Men's Makeup May playlist by clicking on up here, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!